Here is a practice test question for you on sketching functions. Question is, sketch a function which exhibits the following characteristics. f of minus 3 equals to 7, f of 6 is 3, y intercept is minus 4, whole at x equals to minus 3, and a vertical asymptote at x equals to 4, increasing on the interval 0 to infinity and decreasing on the interval minus infinity to 0. As x approaches infinity, y approaches 5. As x approaches minus infinity, y approaches 5. I am Anil Kumar and this is one of the test questions which is kind of difficult to answer. I like you to pause the video, draw the sketch and check with my solution. Here are a few guidelines which will help you to solve such questions. Uh, let's read the question once again. We need to sketch a function. So it has to be a function which exhibits following characteristics. f of minus 3 is 7. So minus 3 is 1, 2, 3 and 7 is approximately 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that is 7. So we are saying this point is 7. f of 6 is 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. So this graph paper is kind of blurred out. But anyway, I think I can make out a few points. And then we have y intercept of minus 4. So this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is y intercept of minus 4. These are my guide points which are going to help me to sketch the function. Whole at x equals to minus 3. So that means uh, this line where it had, so somewhere on this line, which is minus 3, I should have a hole. It is not necessary to have this hole on the x-axis, right? It could be anywhere on this line. Vertical asymptote at x equals to 4. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. A vertical asymptote here will be a vertical line like this, right? So that becomes the vertical asymptote at 4. Increasing on the interval 0 to infinity. That means on this side the function is increasing and decreasing on the interval minus infinity to 0. So on this side it is decreasing. And then we have as x approaches infinity, y approaches 5. So that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's a horizontal asymptote. As x approaches minus infinity, y approaches 5. So we have horizontal asymptote on both the sides. So that is how the characteristics should look like. So we have to now connect these points with the help of a function to meet all these criteria. So let's think how to do it. Now since it is decreasing and we have a point here, so so it can and we have a horizontal asymptote on this side, vertical on that side. So we if I connect this point, then it becomes increasing, right? So let's forget about that point for the time being. So what I will do is I'll leave that point alone, but make it bold so that it reflects that at minus three the value of the function is indeed seven. And also at minus three we need a hole, right? So wherever we'll cross minus 3, we'll put a hole. Okay, that's one criteria. Now, we also know that this is a vertical asymptote and the function has to decrease. So, so what we'll do is, we'll make this vertical asymptote bold enough. We know this is final. So the earlier lines were the guidelines and now we're trying to sketch a function uh, as a final thing, right? So that is how it is. So we have to, on this side, have a function which is decreasing with horizontal asymptote and going through this point, right? So what we can do is that, we, and then after this point, it is increasing, right? That is kind of important. So after this point, it is increasing, but till this point, it is decreasing, correct? So since it decrease, increases after this point, and we have a vertical asymptote, the option for us is, kind of we can go like this and that is the vertical asymptote I hope that makes things very clear right so that's how it is 
Now on the other side we have a function which has to has a hole on minus 3 so we can just go up like this and this is minus 3 so we'll make a hole here right so we can make a hole here and now we have to have horizontal asymptotes so what we can do is we can just connect this with this saying that this is the horizontal asymptote for y equals to 5 and we have this point which satisfied y equals to minus 3 is 7 now we have to take care of f of 6 as 3 and on the right side of the vertical asymptote we need a function which is always increasing correct so we can do that very easily by drawing like this right so that is the vertical asymptote and this is our horizontal asymptote y equals to 5 now this particular function represents all the characteristics which are spelled out here so go through them once again and check for yourself obviously there could be many different solutions for such questions well this is one of those but I think you should appreciate is that when you start sketching a function it's good to write some guidelines which will help you to finally sketch the correct graph right and then you can label it very clearly so that all these points are well taken care of I hope that makes sense thank you and all the best